Am I the asshole? For always getting a separate bill at a restaurant? I've been part of the same group since secondary school and now in our early 30s we still meet up regularly. I'm the only one who doesn't drink and I also have some food restrictions. This means that my meal is always the cheapest option and I very rarely share a plate with the others even if everyone else is eating sharing style. So for years I've always had a separate bill, and then the group evenly splits the remainder. It was suggested by a friend years ago and nobody has ever made an issue. One friend recently brought her new BF Aaron to the meal to introduce him to the group. We have a tendency to overorder so I didn't think it was weird that he has a few drinks and ordered more than one dish. When the bill came and my part was separated out Aaron started getting annoyed and told me to stop being a cheapskate and pay my share like everyone else. I tried to explain but he just dug his heels in and got yelly and called me tight-fisted and selfish. I got flustered and paid my bill and left. Am I TA for still taking a separate bill even a decade later? Should I not be doing that? Not the asshole. Aaron was very inappropriately inserting himself into a friend dynamic that he knows nothing about. He was being a major R to someone he barely knows. Don't even bother wasting a thought on jerks like that. It sounds like this happened very recently, but you should definitely talk to your friend about it. Expect an apology from the BF if you see his face again for him being an R. Not the asshole. They all should be paying for what they order, but that's their choice to split evenly. Also why didn't your longtime friends put him in his place? Not the asshole. The errands of the world are the reason I dislike splitting the check evenly. Not the asshole he was an entitled asshat who was angry because you weren't willing to pay for his drinks. Anyone criticizing you for separate checks in general is delusional. Asking a non-drinker to split the bill with a table full of drinkers is extortion. Average bar drink prices run $5 to $15, and specialties go much higher. Not the asshole splitting bills evenly only works when people order similar things. If he continues to go out with your group, I expect everyone will want to pay for what they ordered instead of subsidizing his bill. Not the asshole. People who don't drink should not have to subsidize those who do. Not the asshole you didn't drink or have what they had so no. Aaron needs to mind his business and stop expecting others to pay his food and drink bill. He probably ordered more than everyone and drunk more than everyone. Not the asshole. Sounds like Aaron needs his own separate bill too. Not the asshole. You're not a cheapskate Aaron's a mooch. Not the asshole. There's no reason you should pay for anyone other than yourself. He's just trying to get a big meal without paying his part. Ignore the sponge. Not the asshole Aaron's a dick. He sound more like the cheapskate cause why the hell would you should pay for someone else's. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Aaron is the newbie to the group and should be following the group's processes. Not the asshole. I'm part of a friend group who tends to drink much more than I do and also over orders food. There is nothing wrong with getting a separate bill if everyone is okay with it. The new guy is out of line. Don't give him another thought and just keep doing what you've always done. Not the asshole fuck Aaron and his cheapskate, get everyone else to pay for my alcoholism attitude. Not the asshole obviously. Aaron is TA. Your friend has poor taste. Well, it seems like Aaron doesn't know how to mind his own plate, I mean business. You've been doing this for years and no one has ever complained, but this one guy comes along and thinks he knows better? Maybe he needs to order a plate of humble pie next time. You're not being a cheapskate, you're just being practical and respectful of your own dietary needs. If anyone is being selfish, it's Aaron for insisting that everyone else do things his way. Stick to your separate bill and let him learn some manners. Not the asshole you don't drink and have food restrictions on what you can and can't eat. Your whole friend has been okay with this for years and now your friend's boyfriend thinks you are doing something wrong. 
you still pay for your meal so it's not like you ate the meal and then left without paying. Not the asshole. This has been a long-standing arrangement. Hopefully your long-standing friends will set this newcomer straight on your behalf. If he brings it up again, tell him that it's medical and none of his business. E2 Aaron was counting on you to help subsidize his meal along with the rest of the crowd. That's the source of his butt hurt. Don't feel bad. Not the asshole. You don't always need separate checks though it makes it easier sometimes but you always pay for what you order. If I order a more expensive dish than my friends or family, I pay more towards the bill. Same with drinks. I'd be having words with anyone whose boyfriend acted like that to me. Your friend is shitty for letting him lash out at you. He's rude as hell to people he just met. Yikes. Server here. Not the asshole. People do this all the time. Your server shouldn't mind, and your friends shouldn't mind. Only people disappointed to have their meals not subsidized will mind. Not the asshole. Aaron needs to learn his place and it is not at the head of the table on day one. Also why would he even have issue if he knows you aren't drinking and he has had multiple drinks. That's a no-brainer for non-assholes. Your friend needs to explain to her new BF how it works, and has worked for a decade, for y'all. Not the asshole. F Aaron. Your friend should have backed you up and told him to shut up. Not the asshole. But tell your friend group that you will not attend any meetup where Aaron is present. Not the asshole. If you paid your own bill, you paid your full share. The cheapskate BF was trying to get everyone else to pay for his drinks and, what new BF starts yelling at people the first time he meets his GF's friend circle, dude sounds unhinged at best. Not the asshole. I do not understand people who split the bill. I will order what I can afford and pay for just that, no more, no less. You done messed up Aaron. Not the asshole. You shouldn't have to share a bill if you don't want to, no matter the reason, but particularly due to the diary differences. Sharing bills is optional, not obligatory. I've seen situations where people purposefully split so they can splurge on more expensive dishes too without feeling guilty about group bills. No matter the value, you are not being a cheapskate for paying for your own meal. Also second other commenters on that your friends should have told him to lay off. If it's fine with your friends, it's totally alright. This guy's a dick for acting like this when he's new to the group not the asshole. Not the asshole I've spent most of my life paying for people's drinks when I don't drink and it sucked and I was too shy and awkward to say anything and I really regret it. I've also found that the person people who order the most always want to split it equally. Never in my life have I been part of a group that divides the bill by the number of people. Maybe it's different according to what country you are in but most wait staff gives each patron their own bill and brings us the handheld debit machine. That guy just wanted to be subsidized not the asshole. I mean, if you're getting your own check you are quite literally paying exactly your share. What he's really saying is stop being a cheapskate and pay some of my share, also. Not the asshole, obviously.